say hi and introduce what are we gonna do today while I find the training plan that we made for you today. How are we gonna introduce the training plan if we don't have one? Because we remember it by heart. Um, I think there is a up downs. You don't have to mention the whole workout, just the whole point of the workout. The whole point of the workout is to get the movement and don't forget the basic position and keep your okay he's back i'm listening <laughs> i said that the whole point of the workout is like to don't forget the movement of the skating and uh, the muscle memory bring the muscle memory back of the skating position and um, you can no, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, Sophia's here with me, and we're in Denmark. And uh, the bad thing about being in Denmark is that there is no ice skating. If you've seen Danish weather or had the pleasure of ever experiencing that, you'll know that it rains all the time, or on rare occasion it gets cold enough for snow. Um, so we can't really skate. So what we do is that we bike a lot, we do a lot of weightlifting. And we do dry land. Because the one thing we can do when there's no ice skating rinks or no possibility of inline skating, at least not comfortable ways, is that we stay fit on the bike, we stay strong in the weightlifting room, but it's very hard to... To find a specific exercise. Yeah. Because skating is very specific more very than anything. Specific. Um, so this is not to become good skaters, it's more to remain good skaters. Yeah. That's why it's not going to be the hardest workout, so everybody is probably capable of joining, wouldn't you say? Yes. There are three levels, so everybody will be capable of doing it. First level is one minute, second level one and a half minute, that's what I'm going to do, and third minute, third level is two minutes. Third, 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 minute. third minute? Yeah, so one, one and a half, and two minutes. And to make it a little more fair also, if you do one minute, you're gonna have two and a half minutes of rest. If you do a minute and a half, then two minutes of rest. And if uh, you do two minutes, you get only one and a half minutes rest. This also means that Sophia and I are gonna be alternating. So we have one person suffering while the other person can be here trying to answer questions. And even better, we won't forget the time. So we yes. tried that a few times. I get cold. Struggle that. Yeah, I hope you all warmed up or that you're doing this at a warmer place than we are. Yeah. Does this mean uh, I, I'll let you start? All right, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. She said, she, oh, yeah. But um, just to get started, because it is pretty cold here and we don't want to talk too much boring stuff. If you're not interested in that and you're just here to go hard to do the workout. We're going to get started now and then after we're going to answer questions if you have any, of course, in the breaks. Um, we'll be answering some questions. Should we go through the exercises real quick? Yes, first one is single leg up down, my favorite. Yes, before you ask, we're gonna do two sets and there is six exercises. We just mentioned the times, but before every time we're just gonna like show you. Obviously, if you're doing my program, you can see it when Sophia does it and the other way around. Um, I'll do 22 seconds and a half, one yeah. leg and 22 seconds This is uh, just for the first exercise, yeah. it'll make sense when we start. Um, we're gonna, I'll move the camera a little, we're gonna get you down to height that fits. Get you a little further. We're covered here, but it's still cold. Um, Maybe Sophia will volunteer to show. If she moves. Single leg up down. Can you move further away? Yes. Okay, so single leg up down. It's like that. And then the next one is taps. Just lift it off the ground. Damn, about how low Sophia gets. Alright. It's painful. Um, kill zone. Like a smooth weight transfer without extending. Yeah. And then the up. And then the down, the over, the up. That's the skating, skate, skating. To the side, and then up, down, to the side, up. Sophia's <laughs> gonna get tired before we get started. Yeah. <laughs> Extensions. Oh. Yeah, I oh. hate that one. 
in, out, uh, keep it just above this the ground. This is also, uh, this is 45 seconds. And then circles. And these are three repetitions per leg. Oh. So that's kind of nice. But we're going to get to that when we get there. And this is drawing a beautiful little circle with your leg on the ground. And those were the six exercises. At the end of that, we're going to do five minutes of continuous work. And that's going to be really hard. So if you don't want to... I accidentally wanna... said that it's going to be really easy. Yeah, she was... Because I got mad and really, said, no. Really talking about it. I was like, no, babe. It's going to be really hard. I was like, no, it's going to be easy. <laughs> I've never tried it, but it looks really easy. We'll let you judge. <laughs> if you don't want this to be too painful, and, or if you have a training session later today or a hard session tomorrow, I would advise you to skip that part. But if you just want to let it burn, we're at home. But it's gonna be fun. It's gonna burn. If you want to get, if you want to burn a ton of calories in just five minutes, that's probably gonna be great. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. If there's any questions, now's the time to ask because um, we're about to start. Yes. Are you gonna time me? I'll time you. Are you gonna time me? Yes. Hey, Petexia. Oh, Petro said hi from Spain. Oh, I wish I'm in Spain. <gasps> it's cold. Happy New Year's from Spain. I hope your weather is. No, I'm not. Hoping. I I know it is better than here. Okay, if everybody's okay. ready. I, I'm ready. We're gonna start Sophia, and she's gonna do a minute and a half on, two minutes off. And in her break, I'll do the same for two minutes. So you get a double chance to see the exercises. Six exercises, two sets. And then after that, we're going to come back to the five minutes of continuous work. Okay, we're just going to be easy. Let's, go. Let's count out for three. Three, two, one. There we go. So chill to not do that. It's good when you start with the rest. Yeah. And you can to make up that again. Maybe I'll regret that. Yeah. In the meantime, I can sit and chat with people while it's Twenty-two and a half seconds. Don't forget. Yeah, that's been a while. I think we're at 35. Oh. 40. Then I just do the rest of it. We got the first 10 people in. Damn, I didn't even mention Super Chats. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Switch. I just 40 seconds, right? No. 22 and a half? Yep. But I did 40 on the, on the right one first, yeah? No. No? 22 and a half? Yeah, kind of. A little too much. <laughs> Switch! <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> How was Christmas? I hope you all had the chance. Three, two, one. Go. Sorry. How long do you do? 30, 30, 30, 30? Yeah. Hope everybody had the chance to spend Christmas with their family. Hi, Victor. Happy New Year from Spain. Sophia and I got to spend Christmas together. That was a little wild. <laughs> family party. What time are you? Oh. <laughs> We weren't sure if we could. Her flight got cancelled. Three flights got cancelled. <laughs> and she arrived <sighs> on Christmas Eve. Without luggage, but with the gifts. I haven't done, I feel like I haven't done the dry lens since Portugal. I only do it with Victor. So it might be hard for me. 
wonder if everybody else is doing dry land when we're not live streaming. <laughs> this is a good thing about YouTube. You can always just go and rewatch it. If you're bored. If you want to punish your legs. It's so cool we're not wearing our Teespring t-shirts. Also, we have a mouse in the house that ate my t-shirt, literally. Yeah, in my shoes. And some chocolate. <laughs> not even all the chocolate. <laughs> Why would it eat shoes before it ate the top of them? Oh, Sophia's next. Three, three, right? The taps. Three per leg and switch. Oh, we got a super chat. Thank you so much. I'll read this for Sophia in the meantime. Joining in from Holland, also cold here. Hope this warms you up. Yes. Thanks a lot. I think. That was a good image behind the nearest city. <laughs> I really hope we shouldn't use this image for the thumbnail. Me sitting in the chair and Sophia hurting. It was almost the first minute, 45 seconds down. Side perspective would be more useful. That's a good point. Today we have two sets. So if Sophia does the side, she'll do the next set from the front or the other way around. I'll do the next set. And um, I can also lower it, then we can see her feet. Thanks for the, uh, the hint. That was 10 more seconds. Keep it up, Sophia. Yeah, thanks a lot for that super chat. And we're switching in two, one, here we go. I was just about to mention that we have, as promised, used the money we got in from the previous Super Chats for the, light. <laughs> for the lighting. And then also, a viewer has been here very often with us, G. Gerrit Walters from the Netherlands also, has sponsored the light. And that is why, I don't know if you can see that today, but the lighting is pretty great. As great as it gets. Um, so thanks a lot for that. This also means that that Super Chat that we got in the beginning of this, it's just gonna go to hot chocolate after. <laughs> Gotta remember, we can't we can't go out and win any competition money because there's no competition <laughs> yet. So this is our income. Yes, that's true. We there, hope you enjoy it. There's the Europeans in the monster. I'll be racing in Germany in two weeks. I'm excited about that. In Insel. 45 more seconds. How hard it is. That's not too bad. You're a master of the dragon. Master of the dragon. I don't know if that's the coolest thing you could be a master of. As a skater, it's a useful thing to master. Then Sophia's gonna do kill settle for you. Oh, that's my favorite. There she goes. Nice, two exercises down, four to go. Set one out of two. Yeah, Hawk Land. Thanks a lot for your super chat. And I'm just like, I'm gonna do my usual spam, Sophia. <laughs> Somebody has to mention that you can super chat and support us, support the channel, and we will do more live streams. We will hurt. And that way, it's a really sad job that we <laughs> we receive money to suffer. But we're happy to share it with you. Uh, so thanks, Hawk Land. 
for the super chat. We appreciate it a lot. Sophia has almost done a minute. And um, she hasn't said solo. Um, if anybody else wants to support us or donate for the channel, you can uh, click on the dollar sign and you can donate any amount. You can donate everything from, I think it goes down to half a dollar. Um, and then it's just a matter of however generous you are here in the Christmas days. Oh, Schatz photos. Oh, hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you just got five seconds. You just woke her up. Two, one. <laughs> Scott's photos. Thanks for that. Is, oh, if you didn't know, joining. Oscar from Scott's photos is a great photographer. Also, a pretty cool guy. Oh, always. Uh, wish happy birthday to all yes. the skaters. <laughs> you are tired of skaters. I appreciate that. Yes, me too. Especially when I'm training camps or somewhere almost alone, and you don't get to have like a birthday party. It's kind of nice. So thanks. I didn't see his question, so you gotta read that for me. Are you coming to the Tiaf bubble for the World Cups, Victor? I am not. I, uh, I might join later for the World Championships, um, but for World Cups, I'm not doing the European all-rounds because I'm not an all-round skater. <laughs> I'll never learn to sprint. Um, and then I'm not joining the World Cup bubble because I decided to just train hard. I think this season's going to be a bit different. And I'd rather go all in on preparing for the Olympic season. And I know that a lot of countries are not going to be there for the World Cups, at least in long track. And then just didn't feel like I'd done tapering for a long time, preparing for World Cups that were not there. And now I just wanted to train well um, for the future. That's smart. Yeah, I don't know if it feels smart right now. <laughs> but think it makes sense. Uh, so I've been in Denmark for three weeks now, just putting in crazy hours. Skating 200 kilometers a week, cycling 400, lifting a few times. Doing a lot of crazy stuff. Doing a lot of crazy stuff. Are you timing me? Mm? Are you also timing me? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw you timing yourself, so I didn't time you. So we don't know? Well, we don't know how long time I've been here. It's two minutes. It has been? I think so. Okay. Well, we're just going to do 20 seconds to be sure. If anybody knows how long time we've been here, <laughs> tell me. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. Are you <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'll tell you next time. <laughs> I'm too tired to be mad. We're going to switch. Now. Can you yeah, I'll <laughs> and that's Sophia's turn. So this one you go up, down, and then know what to the side. Up, down, know what to the side. The point of this exercise, other than just to get strong legs, uh, there's also a technical aspect. That's cool to watch yourself. It is cool. It's like a mirror. <laughs> um, the technical aspect is super important to this exercise. Because you're trying to, what do you do when skating is you're trying to really use the previous stroke to generate energy for the next stroke. So it's not full generating from zero in every every stroke. So that's, that's just going to be too hard when skating. So you're trying to use your body weight and then that's why you do the recovery leg. So for this exercise, that power that you generate, the momentum from going from the upright position here, as you go down, try and push that over. So make it one movement, not go down and put a break on it and then create more speed. Use that going up and then fly to the side. So you feel that loading in the hip. That's why it has, it's super important to have stable hips, not tilt them. Because if you tilt all the power Sophia generates here, you have to pick it up again and then you're going to muscle through it and nobody wants to do that for too long. There's 30 seconds left. FYI. <laughs> If you're wondering, 20 more and then we'll switch. We have some questions coming in there. It's just people saying hi. A lot of countries. Love from India. We love you back, India. 
We love you, babe. Hello, stars and madams. <laughs> Hello to all the stars. Five, four, three, two, switch. I turned you. I woke up. What heart rate it is? Oh yeah, we have the heart rate. Everybody watching this, or just or doing this, mostly doing this. <laughs> we got the heart rate challenge. If you're uh, measuring your heart rate. The maximum is 131. If you can beat it. Hey, <laughs> Because you're master of driving. Sorry for. What Sophia just said made a lot of sense. That this is almost like having a mirror, which is a great thing. I mean, what I would recommend is that half the time, you try and watch us do it to get an idea of what it should look like, at least before we get too tired. <laughs> and the other half, you try and watch yourself in a mirror. You've got a glass or a window or something. You can like, try and see it. Yeah, it, I, I always struggle to look in front when I do it, all exercises. But when you have a mirror in front of yourself, That's or really like fun. phone, it helps. One minute, 30 seconds. Oh. 30 seconds. Good news. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> Next one is our extensions. Hi, hi. Hey, back. See you Five, four, three, two, one. Hop. Two more. Those are the two hardest ones if you ask me. Once if you ask me. Extensions. Get down in position. Stretch out the leg, and then just move it back in, back out. The goal of this exercise is that if you look at this part of wait, <laughs> that part of Sophia's body, it really doesn't move a lot. The only part that moves is her leg. Also activate the glutes. Yes, it hurts the butt. <laughs> 40 seconds in already. Her angle flexibility is incredible. That is true. You will, um, you can't really see it right now, but when you see from the side, you'll see that she has a pretty strong dorsiflexion. Um, like her knee gets way out in front of her toes, which is good for a ton of reasons. 30 more seconds. Um, it's good because it's, if you're skating for longer periods at the time, it relaxes your back because you manage to get the center of gravity. You can move it from maybe sitting all the way out here a bit further out in front and also she's going to push more straight to the side naturally 15 um and if you push straight to the side you're just going to create more more power more speed three two one jeez i really have an umbrella <laughs> Three to each side, switch, one, two, three. Notice how the speed of the leg doesn't change as it goes out. I don't rush any part of it, just keep it controlled. The slower the better, it's like core exercises. Do you have a schedule for your live stream, Dylan? I mean, it's now. Oh, for the future, <laughs> we haven't. And the reason for this is that we don't really know that much. And we don't know when our competitions are be, gonna be. We don't know how often we get to skate. Um, I do recommend that you do skating, way more skating than dry land. Simply because for skaters, yeah. that's the goal. You can never replace being on the wheels. Some parts you can practice a little better because you can slow it down. And there's some muscle groups that you can target even more specifically, such as 
the side of your glutes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like if the weather's good, I would go inline skate. Sophia gets back to Russia, she's gonna do short track. We're gonna join our respective teams, so it's a little hard to plan. But as we get to the spring, we're gonna do it regularly. Yeah, in the off season. Yeah. How much time? One uh, thirty-five. Oh. I'm getting to the end of it. Oh, there was one more question. I guess she has a lot of quad strength. Yeah, I do. It's hard not to. It's hard not to. <laughs> all this stuff. Five seconds. Hop. 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 Last exercise, set one. What? Did you time it? Yes. And then we have some rest. Then we have some rest. Um, yeah, Brian. Um, like I said, we don't really have the the schedule because uh, we simply can't schedule it. Like one of the reasons is, if it's dry, I would go inline skate today, for example. Uh, these times I would only do one a week, and so also we travel a lot. It's difficult. I know that next time I'll do this, I'll be in Insulin, Germany. I don't know if I can get a Wi-Fi. Whereas right now we're in Denmark. And I feel like we have surroundings that we can rely on. 30 more seconds. Yeah, it was fast. I mean, we can do uh, add-ons, <laughs> but... <laughs> um, but when we get to, what, March? Yeah. yeah. March, it'll be timed. And... Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> 15. And... I'll get to it. Remember the last exercise when we got some rest? We're halfway through the big sets. Three, two, one, switch. Easy Ooh. peasy. Easy peasy. Piece of cake. Remember, everything that you don't use, relax it. Like, I often start out like a monkey. As long as everything is in the right place, you should only work with the muscles that you really need to do the correct movement, which is the glutes. Obviously, this leg is gonna work, but don't make it work more than you have to. Like somebody mentioned, Sophia has a lot of angle mobility. If you get it out here, it's just, it's just gonna be more relaxed. You're gonna be able to sit in this position without using your legs too much, just because you're falling naturally in this position. And the more energy you save, the longer you can skip. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Or faster. Or faster. For longer. For longer. Did you time it? Yes. <laughs> so cool that so many people are watching. I wasn't sure if a holiday special would be a too busy time, but also I imagine a lot of people feel bad about all the food they ate. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, that was a perfect intro to doing meal plans. But I'm too tired. <laughs> to I think that after, after, after holiday time is the perfect right. time for showing the new plans. Hitting that guilt. Would you do recommend dry land exercise and skating at the same day? Definitely. <laughs> I, I, would, I, mean, I would. I would recommend as a warm up. Yeah, either as a live warm up or after skating. We wouldn't do anything this heavy before mm -hmm. skating because you would get too tired. And again, it's easier to do these than to do skating in some way. So if you're tired, it's better to do this with the fatigue from skating and the other way around. Or like Sophia said, it's either a light warm-up. Oh. Does it? Either a light warm-up just to get everything 
set. Now we got a set rest. So uh, we got three minutes to just chill, chat, uh, answer questions. Um, what was that? Oh yeah, so Sophia would do it as a warm up. Yeah. Like an activation thing. Yeah. Just to activate the muscles. Yeah, it's hard to do two skating specific training in the same day. Especially for ice skaters also, we don't have a lot of time on ice. And it's hard to get warm when you're on frozen water. Yeah. So these are good for that. Or I would do it as the afternoon workout. So if I skate in the morning, or do... Well, that's exactly what I did today. I went skating before this. Um, so that yeah. answers the question. And I bike. <laughs> yeah. So that's an exact. We've got one more set of this. It's not too terrible. No, it's alright. One more set, and then the five minutes of ouch after. But that's a surprise. It's only for the tough ones that stay. I altered. have like one minute left because you did two minutes and one more minute rest. That is true. Yeah, twenty-five. Hey, Vanessa, we're sitting on the couch eating the rest of Christmas candy. Pure dryland style. <laughs> <laughs> we also had Christmas candy. Even athletes can eat good food. What warm up did you do before this stream? Well, Sophia biked for an hour. I skated for an hour. Uh, but that's that was a, as a workout. Otherwise, just some some dynamic stretches and then ten minutes of aerobic warm up. I would recommend dynamic stretches, yeah. Yeah, like a ten minute jog or spin, and then some dynamic stretches. The warm up just to be warm, to avoid injuries, to be a little more performant, not to be cold. Mm -hmm. And um, and the stretches to be flexible, mobile. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, t-shirt for meal plans. Next to skating. To be starting in fifteen, and everybody's on her plan. Yeah, just a t-shirt that next to skating. I also do meal plans um, and training plans individually. Start in three, two, one. Single leg up down. Twenty two and a half. 22 and a half seconds each leg. Remember that, Victor. Yes. <laughs> no, I do uh, meal plans and training plans online uh, as individual coaching. I started doing that two weeks ago and uh, already got 15 clients. Uh, so I only got space for five more. But if you're interested, you can hit me up. Switch. See that? Right on time. Talking and, <laughs> and timing and all the multitasking. No, yeah, so that's exciting. Uh, if you're interested, just DM me on Instagram and I'll let you know a little more about it. But I think it's super fun. And it's it's a good way to pass on knowledge and also make myself aware of, of all that stuff. And then switch. You're too late, Niranjan. Well, the good thing is that you just, Niranjan, if you're joining now, you can actually just do this with us because we just started set number two. Um, Oh, Max Yang from Taiwan. Time? Not yet. See you in a moment? Now it's time. Last 22 seconds. Uh, cool to have somebody from Taiwan. I imagine it's pretty late in the evening or early in the morning. Right? <laughs> They're getting closer to New Year. Um, in three, two, one. Let me switch. Right from the side, I forgot. I'll do the next one from the side. Or you get DQ and have to do the whole workout. Oh no. <laughs> So Brian said, I was just curious, I just woke up for, for work and noticed you had been already live streaming for like 20 minutes. I wasn't sure if I could join you live every day or once a week. Well, we do this once or twice a week, but right now we're not streaming as often. Um, all the live stream we did in the summer, you can go back and rewatch them because they're all saved on the channel. Your time, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be more than I also time. I just forgot that I should tell you thirty seconds. See, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Time flies when you're resting. <laughs> yeah. I miss No, this. I would do these Me too. once a week. If you do a lot of skating. I'd rather just do more skating unless you do this as a full-time profession, then you can do it twice. 30 more seconds for Victor. Do you guys CBD for recovery? What is CBD? CBD? That's weed. We don't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> CBD. <laughs> what do we do? We do compression pants, massage gun, protein powder. Massages. Yeah. <laughs> Sleep well. Eat well. Hope. Oh. Active recovery. Do that. Oh, foam rolling. The taps. Yeah, we do foam rolling. Um, actually, especially after stuff like this that's very muscular. Uh, maybe not after biking or such. But we're challenged in the width of the balcony here. Um, but yeah, foam rolling is nice. I like to do that after ice skating, most, most of everything. Um, also, the way we ice skate, we go in camps for a while, and then we're home for a while, and the first five, seven days being back on ice just creates so much muscular uh, soreness that foam rolling is really nice for that. Um, I tried to experience a little with the like, small, firm balls to roll under the feet, or to be really specific on the shins or places like that. Go out. Went to more hard <laughs> 20 more seconds, um, but those are, yeah, the ways I would consider. We missed it too, Rory. If you miss it, super, live, super chat. We'll get it done soon. Five more seconds. Two, one, switch. And we only four exercises away. From the most fun part. The <laughs> Christmas surprise. It's a little gift. <laughs> all of us. Christmas special. To all of you. CBD is the not physioactive part of cannabis. It was? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't do that. Is it Hartman asking? <laughs> no. Remember again, this doesn't move. I'm only just lifting the leg. It's pretty cold here. Even doing that. Three degrees. Two? Hello, please reply to me. Okay. Uh, how much hours do you skate a day normal? Mate. <laughs> Wait, actually, how much hours do you skate a day normal? <laughs> actually, we do skate a lot. Uh, yeah, we do. You can answer your. Oh, I skate like uh, one half hour per day. Every day. Uh, like five times a week. And switch. Next one, the kill zone. Yeah, how much do I skate? Uh, N2 PV. Remember, if you really want to know the answer, you can super chat. <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> we, no, the super chats get highlighted for a while and then we can see them um, for a longer period of time. And also they're yeah highlighted, so we'll just make sure to come back to those. But I skate, um, again, so different per, uh, like depending on what time of the year it is. Um, I also think it's very individual. Because for inline skating, I can, like I said, this week I skated 
the last seven days I skated more than 200 kilometers, um, which is not super hard for me. Um, but on ice, because I didn't grow up ice skating, I get tired in different places and I can't keep the quality high if I skate too much. So I try and get a lot of um, cardio work in on the bike or in the weightlifting room or dry lines such as this. So I skate um, on inlines maybe five, six times a week. And same on ice actually, five to six times. But the ice is just higher quality. 10 more seconds. Higher quality and shorter workouts. So in total, a workout takes three hours, but there's a lot of warming up. There's a lot of rest in between. So the actual ice time is maybe only 20 kilometers per session. Switch. skating at what percentage is it for like sure? cardio sessions i guess how hard this oh five times a week but yeah different different percentage i guess like some workouts are like focused on speed some workouts focus on volume and specific workouts like we do a lot of nine laps allowed nine laps allowed four and a half laps because short track is all about 500 000 and 1500 we do a lot of specific workouts like distance workouts so one of that and one usually is recovery thing if you compare it to other sports <clears throat> they're still very intense like you rarely go easier than zone three yeah sub threshold on ice skates, um, whether it's short track or long track. On inlines, you can easily do so on one even, because you don't build as much lactic acid, and you don't have as much pressure on your legs, because you're not on blades, and you're not pushing ice, you're rolling. Um, so for inline skating, that's also why you can skate a lot, a lot more in inlines than short track and long track. <laughs> Both G O A T of skating. A lot of fires <laughs> and hearts. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, what kind of lo land Is that exercise? Two minutes? Just yeah, uh, four, four seconds. Two seconds. One, hop. Nice, we're getting to the end of it. The up. I mean, I haven't stopped this time since we started the workout. Just one, one long countdown. Uh, so many people watching. That's nice. I'm glad you want to watch it. And it feels like we're not just doing it for the sake of out. <laughs> for the own odd pleasure of doing this what kind of land exercise do you recommend for a 12 year old kid uh we're talking land i assume dry land i would say this um it's uncomfortable <laughs> yeah, yeah it's a little narrow 30 seconds yeah all these exercises how much per day of skating and exercise for 11 year old kid um probably at that age you would keep it to once a day um and make sure it's fun uh, at that age 10 more seconds or you can really develop you can develop shape and strength at any age but when you're 11 five you want to develop agility um and switch agility balance we play hockey on inlines for example i think all kids should do that because it really develops things that are hard to develop later on and it's a fun way of doing it and trust me, when I was 11, I was not one of the best skaters, even in my little club. Um, Sophia hadn't tried short track when she was 11, I think. But we caught up, because uh, we had good agility, and we oh, had fun. Actually. What? I started short track when I was 12. See? So, we did zero hours per week of short track and long track at age 11. <laughs> I did a lot of skating since since stage of five though. Yeah, so it's really just about skating a lot. That was the best conclusion to that. Um, 
But yeah, if you're motivated to do it at age 11, just eat once a day. Don't think too much about these exercises at that age. I did this every Saturday with my club. And it was really just because it was fun. Not so much to get strong at that age. Have you ever visited India? Not yet. <laughs> but I do get the question at every live stream. And the answer is always, if anybody wants to help organize a camp there and convince Sophia to come with me. Oh, we got a super chat from Chaz. Oh, thank you. <laughs> from here. From what? From Chaz. I don't know who charged this. Chaz, photo. Chaz. Oh, Oscar. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Damn, on the top of all the cool photos, she said. Yeah. <laughs> he said, keep up the hard work and hope to see either of you on the ice somewhere around the world soon again. So do we. Yeah, you'll probably see me in the Philippines. If there is your Do you know if I have five or 35 to go? You have uh, five. Yes. It's the floor is yours. Oh. Two more, guys. Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> Double thanks. Keep up the hard work. Oh yeah, you read it. Yes. <laughs> Just the brain, you know, oxygen. Thank you. We appreciate that. Like it. Should we change the lighting? Thanks a lot. We hope to, yeah. One thing is to skate, another thing is to skate with spectators, and we hope we get that chance before, or at least at the Olympics. That would be sad to have Olympics for just cameras oh this light is nicer Indian skaters not up to your level not yet what does that mean? which part? about Indian skaters they were better than Indian <laughs> 30 seconds of him no but we want to come and help Indians become better um I know there is a a lot of skaters in India, they just maybe don't have um, the knowledge or the history of skating that we have in Europe or, or Russia, part of Europe, kind of. Not yet, but soon. <laughs> 10 more, Sophia. Yeah, we'd love to come help out. That'd be fun. Also, the weather is better. Weather is better anywhere than right here. Switch. Oh. Can you feel the end coming closer? Yeah. <laughs> I can feel the end coming close. Oh, no, hot chocolate. Oh, we have that. Uh, Should we get those, though? Maybe. Should we get calzone? I thought that was good. <laughs> calzone. Oh, calzone. Calzone or drilling meal. Where's G? First G, time G's where are there. you? Yeah. Nobody can use the uh, excuse that we didn't plan it because we planned this a day and a half ahead. <laughs> Doing it in the front yard. Too cold. I kind of enjoy it though. Are you too cold? Yeah? My hands. I'll get close. It's kind of funny because this is the. What? I was gonna say this is kind of strange because we're doing this sort of in the front yard. Yard. Hello. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we meet neighbors. Switch. There's a neighbor here. Sophia's just gonna keep on. Yeah. Okay, my.
Nice neighbors here. Are you friends? You're telling yourself, right? Yes. Okay. The great excuse if you don't want to talk to neighbors, just like, oh, we're in the middle of a workout. <laughs> Which we are, though. No, so just saying we're doing this uh, on like the balcony of the place we're staying and. Uh, it's in the front yard, kind of. <laughs> so people pass by, and I think it looks really strange. <laughs> like in Portugal, when people look at us. Yeah. I'm done. The finest part is coming. Which Sophia said is not hard at all. It's not going to be hard. I think it's going to be hard. Five minutes of continuous if you work. Do, if you do some active recovery, you know? <laughs> Nah, this is gonna be easy. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're finishing up this. Oh, we do it at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> so I get more resting. Yes. So if you're like, uh, I can't even feel this. Did we get any hard rates today? I think my max is 117. But this is also pretty chill though. We don't move around a lot. No. So the reason there's no jumping or like fast movements to this is like I said, we already do weightlifting and skating and biking. So we get our cardio, our anaerobic work, strength work, explosivity. We already get that from other things, so this is really just more technical stuff, maintaining skating muscles, working in, in this not supernatural or comfortable position. That was it! Whew. Last rest. In the meantime, thanks for the thumbs up, thumbs up, Manolo. Oh, we have a deep question here. Yeah. Will inline skating become Olympic in the time of your careers, in your opinion? If my opinion could decide, it probably would. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it will. Um, for two reasons. Uh, I don't think our careers can last more than another 10 years at the most. And um, yeah, in skating, short track it's a bit earlier, long track you peak at age 30. Uh, so I got four or five more years before I reach that. Um, but do you think it will become an income at all? I actually know it won't, because they've already decided, I think, until 2024 or 2028. Um, it has to go through. Like a lot of processes and the committee already selected the sports for 2024 is like hip-hop dance <laughs> no joke skateboard um Bring dance. yeah no, oh yeah okay. um but the reason i don't think inline skating is become, gonna become an olympic sport is just uh it won't get enough votes it's not as popular it's not as, enough money in it um which is sad because it's it's a great sport i mean i love it uh it's very accessible uh, everybody can skate. It doesn't take super expensive equipment. It doesn't take special facilities. It doesn't take frozen water. <laughs> you can do it at any temperature, basically. And there's a lot of uh, gender equality in it. There's a lot of women skating at a professional level, and just a lot of people skating. But I mean, it's again, it's a matter of money in the IOC. And if you don't get the votes to to make an Olympic sport, it's just not gonna happen. I wish it would. Uh, I I hope it will one day. That's a sad story. But again, inline skating, Olympic or not, is an awesome sport. It's where I began my ice skating career. And um, yeah.
I still love to skate. I'm gonna skate till the day I die. In line skating, at least. <laughs> I don't know about ice skating. It's too cold, and you gotta travel a lot to do it. But I do like in line skating. Okay, let's reveal the Christmas gift we have for you, <laughs> which is a gift of five minutes. Continuous. Ouch! Ouch! He's okay. Sophia thinks it's easy because she hasn't done it yet. Let me demonstrate. The first minute is basic position. We've been in this position for a minute. And then after that minute, we're gonna go straight, no rest, into up downs for one minute. And then straight from doing these up downs, we're gonna do narrow up downs. We're gonna put our feet together and do up downs like that, also for a minute. And then again, with no rest, we're gonna do wide up downs. For a full minute and once we've done that for a full minute we're gonna get back to a normal skating position and stay here for a minute and once we've done that we're probably laying on the floor but that's okay because no we'll go for a jump we'll be yeah we should mention that when this stream is over go for a jump or even just a walk go for something because if you just sit down or lay on a couch after this you're gonna hurt you're tomorrow right. yeah You'll regret it tomorrow morning. If you live in a place where there's call and work, you're not gonna make it. Um, I think that's, uh, that's all for us. If you guys are ready, maybe uh, shake your legs, do your prayers and your super chats. <laughs> it's not gonna help your legs though. <laughs> no, no chats or prayers are gonna help your legs. We're gonna start in 15 seconds, five minutes, no rest. And after that, we're gonna answer all your questions and hang out with you guys a little. Wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, Happy Holidays it's called, to be politically correct. What you said? You do. We're starting in two, yeah. One. Can you move a little? I can move a little in there. Start? We're we starting. And we can decide to do it over 30 seconds. Too easy. How much to go? <laughs> that was 20 seconds, so four minutes and 40 seconds to go. If it's too easy for you, Sophia, you can do it on one leg, the whole thing. <laughs> Five minutes, single leg, freestyle. Okay. Halfway. I take my, my one step. Four and a half minutes to go. I told Sophia before this, we can plan ahead so you don't have to do the whole thing, because I did this last week and that hurt. But she's cool and all, you know? Wonder if people are gonna be cold after this. Ten more seconds, and we go into up downs. Off oh, neighbors are coming, and up downs. Uh, narrow or normal? Normal up downs first. A chill pace. I love how this feels easy. Yeah. <laughs> Halfway with the first one here. So you can do it either fast or slow, or whatever pace you like. The only importance is that you keep a solid rhythm and you don't. Don't, don't stay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't overstretch your legs and be like. <laughs> <laughs> Shake your legs. Because <laughs> that's nice. But it's not what we're trying to do here. I think back is like hurt the most here. Yeah. Five seconds and we go narrow and narrow. So as long as your feet touch each other. Oh, that's so different. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It sounds insane when you say five minutes of just position slash up downs. We realize, especially when we go wide on the next one, um, you're using very different muscle groups. Your butt's gonna hurt in the next one. <laughs> That's, I predict that, um, and that's why we're capable of doing it. I mean, we're not there yet, but we're halfway though. Exactly halfway. Halfway. Oh yeah. Ninety-nine. Yeah. Oh, one hundred six. Ten more seconds. And we're gonna go wide. <laughs> and 
and Y. Then zone two minutes. Make sure even though we're wide now, it feels like you're getting low. But the goal is not to be low to the ground. The goal is to get that 90 degree bend. So you're gonna get even closer to the ground when doing these. You should still be able to touch your heels when you're down. And toes, and lots of few toes. All the toes you can find. Touch the toe. Feeling the burn? Yeah, I don't feel it. I, I swear. It's too easy. But you also keep a prank toe. Look at that. Don't stretch your legs like Sophia do there. Oh, th th I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you just said, don't stretch your legs at the top. And Okay, well. Now we know why it feels easy for me. <laughs> Dune. Okay, my back hurts a lot. Same. And position. Straight into it, one minute in the skating position. Easiest way to cheat here is to like go a little wobbly weird. Don't. Just let it hurt. Let it shake. Sit there. Perfectly. 90 degree bend you want here. Fit a fist in between. Elbow should be like that, a little round back. The knees out a bit. Like shoulders. Yeah. Can you touch your toes? Can you touch your heels? And the fist. Elbows there, and you know you have to ride so you're not like too far down. You're not sitting perfectly straight or <laughs> imperfectly straight. 20 more seconds, guys. Seconds. Are you cold now? No. <laughs> Are you warm? I'm warm. Okay, I'm surprised how easily you made it through this. No, it's easy. It's it easy, is? yeah. I think this is hard. I'll admit, I think this is super hard. My heart rate. Okay, this now it's getting hard. Okay. And that was it. It's good timing. Now it's getting hard, and we're done. Solid guys, we're gonna do a little chat to say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. Congrats on finishing this. Five minutes of ouch, the whole thing, if it's been a while. Good job. I'll get a chair for you, or for me. Oh, okay, it got a little hard at the end, but, <laughs> but before that, that was really easy. <laughs> Okay, the the whole position is the hardest. The up downs is like okay, but maybe it's because I cheated with the straight legs. But you never know what to fear because if, if it was one leg up downs, I would win. She can't feel the pain. <laughs> it's a it's genetic. It's a mutation. It's, genetic. it's a mistake since birth. <laughs> they don't do lactic acid in Russia. <laughs> Lactic acid нет, нет там. Я говорит, говорит нет pain. Massage. Uh, that was it, guys. That was less than one hour. Way to spend 400 some calories without the warm up. 400. Oh. Well, you know, big legs, big pain. And <laughs> no, thank you so much for watching this. Um, oh, that's not too fun. I mean, it's a solid. It's like a little shawarma. We always measure in uh, shawarmas, kebabs, and ice creams. And ice creams. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know if there's anything we want to plug. Thank you for watching this. The reason this was a holiday special is like a lot of you asked during the stream. Uh, when is the next one gonna be? How often do we do this? The thing is, Sophia and I are divorcing. She's keeping the kids. No, <laughs> we, because <laughs> we don't know when the next one's gonna be. Because we have races coming up. Uh, I have races in two weeks already. Sophia's got a pack of big races in a month. World Cups, World Championships. I think they cancel. Oh, yeah. So just Europeans and Worlds. Um, but like she said. We think they canceled it. We don't really know anything because uh, stuff just changes all the time. So our training program is... Adjusting. Yeah, week by week, kind of. Um, which is not ideal, but we make it work. Um, and that's why we can't really schedule. Like, we can't just do this just for the show of you guys because this is fatigue. A lot of fatigue for us as well. So we got to make it match our own time of the year. And... Uh, 
Bro info. Bro. Cool name. I don't know if we missed any. Uh, okay, we. Oh, okay. Oh, we missed story. a. Thumbs up. Hey, can you show your boot best with Denmark play, please? Oh, they want to see my inline. I don't know if to. I'll show you my inline skates, uh, but I will warn you that they look terrible because they just skated the marathon in <laughs> rain and dust and mud and. I don't know. They're, they're not pretty. They're not peaking today. <laughs> Did you see that one? <laughs> she become too slim and you become too handsome. Okay. <laughs> Christmas dinners. I don't know why it happened. Um, hola, Venezuela. Great workout. Thanks for joining in. And to Hilfer. One last question. How much calorie per day you need? Oh. Yesterday, he ate like 5,000. Yesterday was a 5,000 calorie day. Um, <laughs> that is a tough question because it, it changes so much. It really... Like the first with the um, or differentiates with the workouts I do. Sophia said, I really, I checked it actually in the whoop. I did burn more than 5,000 calories yesterday and ate uh, an adequate amount. So, a lot. Sometimes when it's we like don't seven. do anything, like it's 2,000. Yeah, I think, um, well, I make meal plans uh, and I, I have a degree in, in nutrition. Um, so I sometimes care more than most people about this. Um, I know it's the thing Sophia uses a lot in her career as well, uh, to her advantage, knowing how different nutrients affect your performance. Um, but we calculated, and I think we came down to your basic metabolic rate, like how much energy you spent without doing anything. Um, yeah, and then just yeah, everything was a workout. And what was your, I think Sophia spends, was it? Like 1500. 1500 if she doesn't do anything. Uh, that doesn't happen a lot, but when it happens, that would be it. <laughs> Rush me to this high speed. Wow, okay. Um, for me, it's 2,300 or 400, I think, if I don't do anything. Uh, and then I just add on top. Like yesterday, I biked uh, an, an uncomfortable amount of hours, so I just added that. Yeah, um, sometimes it's just like 1,000, 1,200 calories per training, so just a lot. Yeah. But like the the key conclusion to this is it just changes so much. Sophia can burn everything from fifteen hundred to the double. Yeah. Um, I go from twenty two hundred to I think I've burned more than seven thousand in the summer in Portugal. Yeah. So. Wow, that's it's like eleven frozen pizzas. Hundred halo tops. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, if you want to know more, um, I have a web page that's about to be created. Um, for my side business as a nutritionist and online coach um, and there's gonna be a little more info on this and you can always reach out so yeah what else interesting Devanj from India national gold medalist okay we see some uh, language that we're not super familiar with <laughs> Um, oh shit, I forgot. I'll go get my skates so I can show you guys my very dirty skates. Um, kind of makes me sad to think about it. I will go get the jacket. Okay, then I'll, I'll stay. We won't leave people alone. Um, I can bring your skates. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you find the car keys, they're in the car. Um, yeah, um, actually I made a video on socks and skates, how terrible it is. Um, so don't use socks because they really think it messes up your control over the skates. And if you have good skates, you shouldn't be able to fit socks in your skates. Um, so I think that's that's a bad thing, it's especially for those few times a year where it's too wet or, or just too cold. Um, it's much better to wear something on the top of your skate, like a cover. Um, but the bottom line is that most covers um, is that they're made for bike shoes, so you can't really fit them. Um, front seat to the right. They get the front seat. They're worth a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, so. My skates are nasty. They were, I, they, they weigh, are they heavy or what? They're freaking They're heavy. I had to wear that stuff on my feet for a lot of, yeah, I didn't do crossovers. I just wouldn't. <laughs> Here are my skates. Damn, they're heavy. Um, bearings, straight outer. 
hill. And this is the Danish flag a lot of people... I had some messages the other day as well. So it's not a sticker, it's actually, what is that called, embroidered, uh, like knitted into this gate, kind of glued on. Um, I'll try and show it closer. It's cool when it's not dirty. Right now they are not as pretty as they have been. Um, the skates I use in the summer is the Simmons skates. You might know that I own a skate store, because I mentioned it quite a lot. Not as often as Super Chats. Um, and we sell Simmons skates. We only sell skates that I approve and that I've tested because I feel like it would be dumb to sell things you can't, um, you, can't you don't approve of. Um, that would be bad, bad business. <laughs> um, so yeah, Simmons would be my first pick or Lugino skates. Uh, I skate on Simmons in the summer, full Simmons setup. And now I'm, I'm skating on junk wheels most of the time because they're... I think they're awesome. They have a little more rubber, a little more comfortable than most NPC wheels, even though they just pretty similar. Did we make it through all the questions? Yes. We should have planned something where we'd say, Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. And then Russian, it's uh, Soden, Soden Got. Snowum Gotem. Snowum Gotem. It's true. Simon skates are from the U.S. actually, but they're now manufactured in India. Yeah, yeah. The brand is right. But you're right. It's a good point. India did something great there. Snowdom God. Snowdom God. The Shrine Well. Bonani. Go you will go it all. We will leave this on for one minute so people can super chat. It's like the people playing music in the streets. This is where the hat comes out. Snowdom God, 100%. <laughs> Hundred <laughs> percent. Um, this is where we uh, take our artificial hat off, and if you like this stream, I actually have a hat. But you're also gonna get cold. Yes, we so. can't risk Sophia's health for the super chats, or can we? I don't know. Can we risk your health? I mean, we have hockey. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. If you appreciate this, if you liked it, if you want us to make more of it, you can super chat now. You can leave any amount. We're gonna be grateful for all of it. We're gonna spend the first five years on hot chocolate right away <laughs> and everything else is gonna go to cool women like this fancy thing that gives the light so we can do this at any time and wait for it wait for it cozy light morning light stylish light and that's thanks to the super chat we got earlier on um yeah and final message do you have a final message it's not good it's coming. It's coming. No, it's not. Yeah, it's coming. Snow in Gotham is coming. It's 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 No, it's coming. I mean, that means it's наступающим. That means like the New Year's coming. Ah, okay. New Year's is coming. It's наступающим. Yes. Thanks for the views. Hope you want to share it. I remember, if you tune in now or you just did a little too late you can always rewatch it it's gonna upload but because it's a big file and because the wi-fi is gonna be i don't know why the wi-fi is so bad yeah really terrible yeah. uh it's gonna take a little while but you should have it in a few hours if you're watching this now and you can scroll back to the beginning subscribe to the channel because i'm making the greatest dryland video ever i told sophia a bunch of times it's called the dryland bible with every single dryland exercise how to use them and when to use them and what they're good for it's just, it's it's gonna it's take amazing. a while. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yes, I spent more than hundred gigabytes of footage, and no it's just amazing. Appreciate that. It's not there yet, but it, it's gonna be great. She's working so much on it. Great stream. Having your year, Anton Thank you. Thank you for all the questions. Yeah. And we questions. don't smoke weed. No, we don't do CB anything. <laughs> I don't, CBD. Yeah, CBD. <laughs> no, that's great. Happy New Year's to everybody. Bye. Bye bye. Haka. Oh. Oh, Hakma. <laughs> thanks. Maybe we'll stay for a few more minutes. <laughs> no, thanks. Thanks. Real fun to work out together. Interested in this stretching and warm up. Can you like. Ooh. That, I'm glad you're asking, Hak Land. Um, and th no, thanks for the super chat. Yeah. Also. And um, we might make the video about. We already made it. Did we? Yeah. That, there is actually on my channel 
a video on dynamic with the title if you search for Victor health or dynamic stretching or dynamic warm-up exercises um, oh we did it in US. Yeah, yeah. Sure. um there is one on dynamic stretch. there's actually a few in Portugal also I made one when I went for my jog and did it at the beach um because that's something we do a lot uh, we do like an hour warm up for every skating session we have uh, just to improve the quality and because we can't warm up on the ice. So I made more than one video on that, Haglan, um, and everybody else that's interested. Some of them are entire workouts just to improve mobility, flexibility, and some of them are as a longer warm up for things like this or skating. And they're on the channel already, Victor Thorpe. So yeah, look that up. I hope you find them to be useful. All right. We gotta go warm down. Ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> warm up, warm down. We're gonna go for a 10 minute jog, get some hot chocolate. Thanks for watching. And bye. Yes, bye. Happy New Year's, everybody. Oh, do we even know how to say goodbye here? <laughs> Maybe the. We don't know. Cross, oh, yeah, there's a cross. Not a smooth ending, guys. Not a smooth ending. <laughs> Skip this part. Thanks, everybody.